Hi, it's Stefania over at Sleep Stories and the Classic Fairy Tales for Kids, and we've got the next part of Uncle Wiggily's Adventures. If you remember the last time, Uncle Wiggily and Percival were entertaining the wolves to stop them from eating them, and the wolves enjoyed their antics so much that they were rolling on the ground laughing and no thought to eat those two wonderful people, the rabbit and the dog. Our story continues. I must tell you, what happened to Uncle Wiggily after he and Percival did those tricks and made the wolves laugh so hard? The rabbit and the circus dog stayed in the woods all that night and nothing bothered them. Now, Percival, you make the coffee and I'll spread the bed bread and butter for breakfast, said Uncle Wiggily the next morning. Where are you going to get bread and butter? asked the dog. Oh, I have it in my satchel, spoke the old rabbit, and surely enough, he did have several large, fine slices. So he and Percival ate their breakfast, and then they started off again. They hadn't gone very far before they met a grasshopper who was limping along on top of a fence rail and looking quite sad. I mean, the grasshopper was looking sad, not the fence rail. What is the matter? asked Uncle Wiggily kindly. Are you sad and lonesome because you can't have some cherry pie or bread and butter or because you can't see any funny tricks? If you are, don't worry, Mr. Grasshopper. For Percival and I can give you something to eat and also do some tricks to make you laugh. Now, I am not sad about any of those things, replied the grasshopper. But you see, I gave a big jump over a large stone a little while ago and I sprained my left leg. Now I can't jump anymore. And of course, we grasshoppers have to hop or we don't make any money. Oh, don't let a little thing like that worry you, spoke Uncle Wiggily. I have some very nice cream that a gentleman and his boy gave me when their automobile ran over me and it cured my sore toe. So I think it will cure your left hind leg. Then he put some cream on the grasshopper's leg and in a little while it was much better. No. We must travel on again to seek our fortune, said Uncle Wiggily. Come, Percival. I will do just one little trick to make the grasshopper feel better before we leave, said the circus dog. So he stood up on the end of his tail and went around and around and winked first one eye, then the other. It was too funny for anything, really. Really, it was. Well... The alligator laughed at that. Oh, there I go again. I mean, the grasshopper laughed at that. And then Uncle Wiggily and Percival went off together, very glad indeed that they had had a chance to do a kindness, even to a grasshopper. Pretty soon, they came to a place where there were two roads branching off, one to the right hand and one to the left like the letter Y. I'll tell you what we'll do, said Percival. You go to the right, Uncle Wiggily, and I'll go to the left. And later on, we'll meet by the mill pond, and perhaps each of us may have found his fortune by that time. Good, cried Uncle Wiggily. We'll do it. So, he went off one way, and the circus dog took the other path through the woods. Now, I must tell you what happened to the old gentleman rabbit. Uncle Wiggily went along for some time, and just as he got to a place where there was a large stone, all of a sudden out popped a big fat toad. And it wasn't a nice toad either, but a bad toad. Hello, Uncle Wiggily said the squatty watty toad I haven't seen you in some time. I guess you must be getting pretty old. You can't jump as you once could. 
can you? Of course I can, exclaimed the rabbit, a bit pettish like, for he didn't care to have even a toad think he couldn't jump as well as he ever could. I'd like to see you, went on the toad. See if you jump from over here on that pile of leaves. And he pointed to them with his warty toes. I'll do it, exclaimed Uncle Wiggily. So he laid aside his crutch and his case gave a little run and a big jump, and then he came down kerthump on the pile of leaves. But wait, oh, I have something to tell you. That toad was only playing a trick on the rabbit, and those leaves were right over a big, deep, dark well. And as soon as Uncle Wiggily landed on the leaves, he fell through. But there were no boards under them to cover up the well. And down, down, down he went. And if there had been water in the well, he would have drowned. But the well was dry, I'm glad to say. Still, Uncle Wiggily had a great fall, almost like the tumble of Humpty Dumpty. Aha! exclaimed the mean, squatty, squirmy toad. Now you are in the well, and I'm going off and tell the wolves so they can come and get you out. And eat you. <laughs> oh, but wasn't that toad a most unpleasant one? You see, he used to work for the wolves, doing all sorts of mean things for them and trapping all the animals he could for them. So, off the toad hopped to call the wolves to come and get Uncle Wiggily, and the poor rabbit was left alone at the bottom of the well. He tried his best to get up, but he couldn't. I guess I'll have to stay here till the wolves come, he thought sadly. But I'll call for help and see what happens. So he called, help, 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 as loudly as he could. And all of a sudden, a voice answered and asked, Where are you? In the well, shouted Uncle Wiggily. And he was afraid it was the wolves coming to eat him. But it wasn't. It was the limpy grasshopper, and he tried to pull Uncle Wiggily out of the well, but of course he wasn't strong enough. But I'll get Percival the circus dog, and he'll pull you out before the wolves come, said the grasshopper. Now I have a chance to do you a kindness for the one you did me. So he hopped off, as his leg was nearly all better, and he found Percival on the left road and told him what happened. My! How that circus dog did rush back to help Uncle Wiggily. And he got him out of the well in no time by lowering a long rope to him and pulling the rabbit gentleman up. And then the rabbit and the dog ran away before the toad could come back with the savage wolves. Who didn't get any supper out of the well? After all, he served them right. <laughs> so, that's all to the story. But I got some more. We'll be back again. The next story, a little preview, will be Uncle Wiggily and Jenny Chipmunk. Yes, Uncle Wiggily was indeed grateful to Percival. Percival? And they had cherry pie to celebrate. But I'm not going to tell you anymore. Till we have our next story, Uncle Wiggily and Jenny Chipmunk. And if you want to be sure that you know when Uncle Wiggily and Jenny Chipmunk are ready, please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification button so you can get a message when the story is ready just for you. That's all for now. So take care, be good, and see you soon. Bye-bye.